Today will be a demo of the IETS Partners software request solution. Here we have our XP, an XP client machine and on this XP client machine we have actually launched our web page for the software request solution. Now as you'll notice the first person that the, as we begin to get on this page will see that Ed Rooney is logged in as the person logged into the machine and shown also in the software request solution as the requester. So we're going to leave him as it, but if there was also another person that Ed was actually requesting this for, we could actually type and search for that name. So go to software select first. Here we'll see that we have a list of computers that are possible available for software delivery through software request solution. Let's choose the XP machine and we're going to first search for software by category and then we'll search for software by name so our ability we have ability to search for software in many different ways first we can do it by category so the first software we're going to select is a browser so here we can select Mozilla Firefox we can add that software now on this page we've got a few different things we show the requester, requester's email and the target computer in which we're going to be installing the software on we show the software category here which we're going to select the software we want which we showed you doing by choosing the Firefox software and that moves it over to the selected we can also search by name when I search by name we'll see that the Firefox stays available here but if I type in a W for instance and search for something that will give us a couple different options and we're actually going to select the WinZip software. So I add that over and it shows up in this column over here. Now if for instance Ed Rene decided that he didn't want one of the softwares here we can actually select it and then select remove and it will remove that software. So we're going to submit this and this process is actually complete on the side of Ed Rooney. So we're going to close the browser window and we're going to actually bring up our Thunderbird email client. So an email client will be able to go through and check and check for emails. So you'll actually see that we have a few messages coming in. Um, one here for Ed Rooney. This actually shows that he was approved for the Firefox software. The Firefox software gets approved basically because it is no, not licensed. We can't have approval of four licensed items, but this one we're just considering it a non-licensed. Everyone gets it approved once you request for it. So we'll see that's approved. If we come down here to the Altiris agent, we'll see that Firefox has actually already completed its its run and it's already completed an install. That's because that is actually a VSA, a semantic SVS software. Refresh and we'll see that we have it on the desktop and have Firefox already there. Jack is actually a prover for WinZip. And we'll come here and see that he has now has a response link for WinZip. So Jack can click on this response link from WinZip and it's going to bring up a new page and within this page we'll see information about the WinZip. We see who the submitter was we see who that was requested for and what the software that was requested that it was the WinZip, WinZip 10. One thing we also can see is that the total license is 100 but the current installs is 111. So available licenses means we're actually out of compliance by 11 licenses. And so this tells us do the license do the licensing that we're out of compliance we actually have to get the um, even if this software is approved, we're going to wait for the purchaser to actually do the approval and they have to actually do a decision on there. And we're going to see that process here. So the, the options that the approver have is to either approve, reject, or contact the requester for further information. Let's actually approve this and then we'll work from the purchaser side and see what happens on that side. So we're going to approve that and close out the browser again and we'll get all messages one last time we'll see that Johnny Dollar now has who is the purchaser now has a new email so Johnny Dollar comes down here and he says I want to he gets an email now and it says that their software request approval request and that it says the same type of email received by Jock except for this on this one he gets the decide whether or not the license is compliance or not 
and so he's he's going to make a decision on the license compliance issue. So his he gets the same looking email as or same looking link as as Jack did, except for within this he gets an approve, reject, or wait for compliance. So at this point he's actually going to say let's wait for compliance. So now let's switch back. We're going to switch to a workflow machine, and on this machine we actually have an NS council about the license pulled up. So within this, we actually can see that we have that same summary of the license where we have a hundred purchases and 111 is the total of licenses that are actually in inventory and that gives us a negative 11 for compliance. So you can come here to the software installs and because we're doing this in demo he's actually going to change it in the non-inventory installs because we're not don't have enough machines in our demo to have the inventory so we'll change that to 90 apply that information so now we're back and we go back to our summary page and we'll refresh this page and we can look and see here it license count is now in compliance with 10 licenses available so now we'll go back to our XP machine and we'll come back here and check our email again. In the background there's having processes that checking to see whether or not something is back in compliance or not. So we'll see that Giant Dollar now has a license procurement response. And he's going to get a respond link for that WinZip software again that's saying that um, the valid that we have valid licenses now. So now Johnny Dollar's only response is that to say that okay, licenses now we have licenses available now, and now we're going to state that it's procured. Close our browser windows, close all tabs, and we'll go back to Rooney, and we'll figure out that first Rooney gets the first level of approval. As you notice, the WinZip has started to install. and then after the licenses th this first message is actually saying that it was approved but we have to wait for a license must be obtained for this title is what he's going to be told and then once his the licenses have been finally pulled um, he'll get the actual saying that the license was fully it was fully approved and as we saw the WinZip started to install and we can see here that WinZip run has actually completed all in time in which we checked the emails and WinZip is now available on the computer.